Hello, thank you for joining this Sage 300 training video. Today's session will cover using the adjustment entry screen in Accounts Payable. Adjustments can be used anytime you have to change the financial facts of a transaction. This could either be the GL code used on a line of detail or the amount of the transaction or line. Adjustments are inputted through the adjustment entry window accessible via either the adjustment batch list icon or the adjustment entry icon. Regardless of the route taken, the entry window remains consistent. If you select the adjustment batch icon list, it provides a list. If you select the adjustment batch list icon, it provides a list view of batch information. Functional buttons at the Windows base facilitate opening, creating, deleting, posting, and printing batches directly from this window. To initiate the adjustment entry window and establish a new batch, click the New button. For existing batches, select the desired batch and click Open. The adjustment entry window serves the following purposes. Entering adjustments for both open and fully paid documents in vendor accounts and editing of adjustment batches. Choosing the adjustment entry icon directly opens the adjustment entry window. From here, new adjustments can be generated or adjustments can be appended to existing open batches. At the top of the adjustment entry window, the following three fields are presented. To generate a new batch, click New adjacent to the batch number field. The system automatically assigns the next available batch number. Alternatively, input the batch number directly or utilize the finder or navigate buttons to locate the desired batch for editing. Input a batch description limited to 60 characters. The system defaults the session date as the batch date, although this can be modified. This date serves various purposes, including printing batch listings and determining adjustment dates. The system automatically allocates an entry number for each adjustment entered. This number coupled with the batch number forms part of the audit trail. Additionally, provide a description up to 30 characters to characterize the entry. This description appears in the finder field, batch listings and posting journal. The adjustment date typically mirrors the batch date by default, yet it can be adjusted if necessary. Specify the posting date for the journal entry transaction in general ledger. The system displays the corresponding fiscal year and period based on the chosen date. Depending on settings in the AP option window, the posting date may default to the session date or the document date. However, manual input is permissible. Designate the vendor relevant to the adjustment. Optionally, include a reference and description for clarity which will appear on the posting journal report and can be sent to the general ledger batch if configured accordingly. Now let's do a couple examples to demonstrate the adjustment entry screen. First, let's select our vendor. In this case, we're going to select intercontinental and then we're going to select our document number. In this case, we want invoice 7845. Please note that this one is already been paid. You can see the remaining amount over here showing the open or paid status. By selecting the adjustment line, we can see the various lines that were put on the original document. In this case, there is only one. We're going to select it. And then I'll hit my tab key and the line will populate with the original GL account number on here. In 
In this case, what we want to do is change the GL code that was utilized on this particular transaction, perhaps because it was put to the wrong GL account. When doing adjustments, it's important to understand the accounting impact behind the transaction you are trying to do. So in this case, since we want to take the money out of the 6680-100 account and put it to a different one, we need to credit this particular account. I'm now going to enter the new GL account we want it to go to. and I will debit that account the same amount. Here we have effectively a fully formed journal entry. This will impact these two GL accounts and it is not going to touch our payables account itself. The advantage of this over doing a reclassification straight in general ledger is that it is tied to the vendor and document number. So there is full traceability in the accounts payable module to your reclassification. We can see here in the totals grid down below that our debits equal our credits and thus our payables adjustment total is zero, meaning we are not going to impact the payables account at all. And we will hit add. Now let's take a look at an adjustment entry where we are going to adjust the amount that's currently due. We're going to go to our vendor number and select Exide Industrial. And in this case, we're going to actually select a credit note. In adjustment entry, we can adjust invoices, credit notes, or debit notes, basically any entry done in the invoice entry screen. Next, we're going to select our line here and we're going to pick our office supplies line. Because this is a credit note and we want to reduce it, we are effectively increasing our liability. That means we want to add to the credit balance of the payables account. Therefore, our offset to the office supplies lines needs to be a debit. So we're going to put our debit amount of $50 in the office supply line. So here we see our totals is debits is 50 and our payable adjustment total is 50. We do not want to put the actual AP account line here in the adjustment entry screen. We want to leave it as it is shown here with the payables adjustment total having a dollar amount. That is going to then pick up in the actual register. If we put the GL account in here, what will happen is that the sub ledger will not get updated by your transaction, but the general ledger will. This can, will cause a reconciling problem later on. If we want to actually impact the AP sub ledger, i.e. the AP aging, we need to only put one line of detail, leaving the adjustment amount to the payables account in the summary grid. Let's go ahead and now post this. Like every other batch function in Sage, we can either post our batch through the AP adjustment batch or from inside the batch in the actual entry screen with the post button down here. Our batch is now posted and we have completed our adjustments. This concludes this training video. Thank you very much for watching until the end. Have a great day.